Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and set up our Firebase database and Firebase authentication. So to be able to do this, we need to go ahead and pull up our Google Chrome and we're going to log on to console.firebase.google.com. So I've already opened up um, this particular URL. So when you do that, this is exactly what you're going to see. For you to be able to have a Firebase access or a Firebase account, the only thing you need is only a Gmail address. So I already have a Gmail account logged in into my Google Chrome. So if you have that, you'll be able to access Firebase console. So as you can see, I have a couple of old projects that I've worked on in the past, which is what we see here. So what we need to do is to go ahead and create a new project. So we're going to click on add project. All right. So the next thing we need to do will be to enter our project name. So I've been thinking for a very cool name for this app. I think to call it G Taxi will be nice. G stands for green. So we already know that anything green is life. So we're going to call it G Taxi. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. We don't need Google Analytics. So I'm going to go ahead and create a project. So this will roughly take a couple of seconds depending on your internet speed. So our project is almost ready. All right, so we are ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. All right, okay, so this is our dashboard. This is the first thing that we see as soon as we create our project. So we can see all the different products that we can actually make use of. So like I said, there are actually two types of databases here. So now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and set up our Firebase database. Okay, so this is going to take a couple of minutes, depending on your internet speed to come up. Okay, so we have our database is fully loaded up, but we don't actually want to use Cloud Firestore. So we're going to skip this, scroll down a little bit more. We're going to see the real time database. So we're going to go ahead and click on create database. And we are going to start in the test mode. And the test mode means that there is more like minimum or minimal security you can easily write and read from the database so we're going to start in test mode but we'll talk about the security later on now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and click on enable all right so as you can see our database is ready to rock and roll so i can just go ahead and type create and type true okay so this is our real-time database this is what it looks like it is a very massive json tree so as soon as we get into the app, we will start writing data to this database. And we can always see the information saved on this database in this panel. Now, the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and enable our Firebase authentication. So we're going to go ahead and click on the authentication tab. All right. Now let's enable a sign in method, which is a method how our users are going to log in or sign in into the app. So we are going to be making use of email and password. So we're going to enable email and password and bam. So this is basically all that we need to do on the Firebase end. Now in the next lesson, we are going to go ahead and integrate Firebase inside our app so that we can be able to confirm that there is a very good connection between our app and our Firebase backend. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.